Once again, you probably know a lot of the features that exist to support your students as they're reading these textbooks, which is the good news. But it's only good news if we show them how to access those features, right? So one of the first things to maybe show your kids day one is to show them textbook organization. Math books, science books, English, social studies, art, any type of textbook. There's, there's only a handful of publishers left in the United States. They have, have all of these subsidiaries, but basically that means that they're all laid out more or less the same way. We have our whole text structures to support, which are the table of contents in the front, your indices and glossary in the back. Then you have chapters that are divided with headings, subheadings, oftentimes guiding questions, oftentimes vocabulary support. Within the chapters, we have paragraphs. Textbooks pay a lot of attention to topic sentences. They always want to have a really good topic sentence for students, supporting details, transition words. And then finally, of course, the sentences within that bring meaning to all of that. That's how textbooks are laid out, right? So, given that, we have to provide our students some GPS because this is a lot to manipulate and maneuver through, right? By GPS, I mean guide, practice, and support for our students. Um, and text mapping is a particular way that we can do that with our kids. We're going to do three types today, and we'll spend um, a little bit of time on each of them. The first is Thrill. The acronym is misspelled on purpose. As an English teacher, I have a problem with that. But as a lover of providing knowledge for my students, I'm okay with it. So uh, we'll talk about that first. Then we'll talk about the use of signal words, which can trigger the use of particular graphic organizers, also known as conceptual graphic organizers. Okay? So those are the three things that you will get tangible to walk out of this session with today to put into your lesson plans. Starting off with thrill. Uh, who would be thrilled to read what thrill stands for for us? Thank you. John. Title, headings, read the first paragraph and summarize, illustrations, last paragraph, that's for now, discussion questions. Okay. So I'm actually going to have you try and apply the thrill uh, strategy to the piece I just handed out to you. I'm going to ask that you do skip the last paragraph for now because I'm going to give you additional support for that. Um, and discussion questions, just to clarify, means that any questions that you have after your reading or that you're thinking about moving forward, those would be the discussion questions that you would write down. Okay? What questions might you have about what we're going to do right now? Who can tell me what you're going to do right now? Dustin. I'm going to apply thrill to the piece that you have so graciously bestowed upon us. <laughs> it's a very flower uh, explanation, and I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Thrill six. Let's do four minutes and two seconds. Please go ahead and begin. Where do you use partners? Should be. 